Taipei City Council is grappling with a COVID cluster that's now grown to 10 cases. The outbreak began last week with an independent counselor and has since spread to four other counselors and five staffers and security guards. As a precaution, one non-infected counselor has asked most of her staffers to work from home. Another counselor has spent 10 days sleeping in his office to avoid bringing the virus home to his infant grandson. He carries blankets and a pillow to the office sofa where he lays them down. Amid a COVID outbreak at Taipei City Council, Councillor Zhang Maonan has spent the past 10 days sleeping in his office. We have a baby at home who's only a month old. As a grandfather, I feel that with all these counselors testing positive, it's best for me to stay here for 10 days. With domestic transmission gathering pace, an outbreak has struck Taipei City Council. Independent City Councilor Huang Yufen tested positive last week, followed by the DPP's Wang Mingsheng this Tuesday, the KMT's Dai Shi Qin this Wednesday, and fellow party member Gang Wei this Thursday. As a precaution, the city government sent three mobile PCR testing stations to the city council. New party councilor Ho Han Ting tested positive early Friday morning, along with five councilors' assistants and building security guards. I tested positive. Right now, my throat's a bit scratchy, and I'm a bit woozy. Other than that, I have no serious symptoms. I feel guilty about any friends or family who may have been infected by me. Right now, I have a slight cough, a sore throat, and I'm a bit wheezy if I talk a lot, and I have a tingling sensation in my lungs. It really is more uncomfortable than getting a cold. Although it's an election year, the health and safety of the public is more important than anything else. So I'll stick to avoiding contact with others for 17 days. The councillor appeared fatigued and out of breath as she spoke. She and Councillor Ho have switched to conducting their work activities online or through telephone. As a precaution, KMT councillor Angela Ying has put all but one staffer on work from home. She's also suspended all in-person meetings. Actually, councillors and their assistants are a high-risk group to begin with. I've suggested to the city council speaker that we could hold another day of testing. Yesterday's testing came on short notice, and lots of people couldn't make it. With case numbers rising quickly, many politicians have expressed concerns. They're taking every precaution to reduce the risk of infection.